<laughs> What's up guys? Taco Dave here. Welcome to my shop. Uh, today's video, I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about helmets and this little sticker right here, MIPS technology. Is it worth it? Is it worth that extra money? Stay tuned and I'll tell you just what I think about it. You. All right guys, well, this is what I'm talking to you about today. This is what I have in my hand here is my Jiro Montaro with MIPS technology. Um, I never was really like, uh, oh, about MIPS. Like, is it worth the extra 30, 40, 50 bucks, whatever, how much it costs? Um, I think this helmet right here, I think retails for about 150 bucks. I think the non-MIPS version is about 99 bucks or 100 bucks. Um, so $50 extra for that MIPS technology and, um, I have to say it's totally worth it. MIPS is, is, is a, I think it's MIPS, Multi-Directional Impact Protection System. Um, it's a very good system. Most companies these days are coming out with them and it's, it's a great thing. It's saved a lot of people just like me and my crash. What you'll see is me kind of coming down and my hands come down, take the impact of the first initial fall and that's when I broke my hand. Um, kind of sucks. But just after that, you can hear the crunch, and the crunch is basically my head hitting the ground and it causing that dent right there, if you can see it, and just taking a lot of force on my head. <laughs> MIPS technology is, there's an inside liner, um, as you can see inside here. Um, and it's a plastic insert that basically allows your skull to um, basically not move and take so much of the force uh, when you have an impact. So on this one, you can kind of see, and it no longer moves. Um, and uh, I'll show you this. On this helmet, don't mind my hat hair here. So this right here is a brand new helmet. and. Um, with MIPS technology as well, just because I absolutely love it. I think it's amazing. Um, and you can see the inside liner totally just moves. And when that moves like that, um, that right there is when your, your head comes down into an impact, it's gonna basically move with the helmet instead of your head moving and creating less trauma to your head. Um, and <laughs> I have to say, that extra 50 bucks is well worth it. As you can see, the other one, oh, um, other one basically it moved around. This one no longer moves. And so what MIPS did is it did its job. It, it, what it did was it came down, it took the brunt of the force, and now basically this helmet, garbage. It's trash. Most of you guys really need to, uh, take advantage of it. Have a hard impact, that helmet's no longer good. It could compromise a lot of the styrofoam inside whether you can see it or you can't. With the technology, you know, it's done its job. The helmet's done. Well, like, you're gonna say, damn, I spent $150 for one crash? Okay, $150 versus head trauma. Which one are you gonna choose? I'm taking that $150 every time. So what I did is I came home on Monday after my trip, broken wrist and all, even knowing that I'm not gonna be riding for a couple weeks, and I went online and I bought a new helmet instantly because I don't wanna ride without it. Um, as you can see, now this helmet, it totally moves on my head, and that's what it does, was when it comes down, you take the impact, it's gonna move this, instead of it moving your head or moving your skull or anything like that. So, do I believe in MIPS? Absolutely, I totally do, and I am probably never gonna buy another helmet without MIPS. I would suggest you guys do the same, especially if you're into riding pretty hard or you're going fast or, hell, you know what? I don't even care. If you're riding, buy MIPS. It is worth it, every single penny. I love this Giro Montaro and you guys should too. Super comfortable helmet, lightweight, breathable, and the MIPS technology, you just can't go wrong with it. All right guys, that's this week's taco tip. Go out and buy yourself a new helmet if you haven't already used this MIPS technology. It saved my life and it will save yours too. This Jiro Montaro, super solid helmet. If you guys are looking for a new helmet, I suggest this helmet. I've used it in enduro races. I've used it on trail rides. I, 
I love it. I am going to continue buying this helmet because it definitely saved me and it'll save you guys too. All right, guys, that's it for me this week. Go out and send it. You.